Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever struggled in their return to Connecticut, falling to the Sun, 89-72. Indiana opened the season with a 21-point loss in Connecticut and later fell to the Sun in Indiana, 88-84, which makes them 0-3 this season against one of the WNBA's best teams. Clark wasn't able to replicate her production from Friday against the Washington Mystics when she scored 30 points in a Fever victory. The Sun held May's WNBA Rookie of the Month to just 10 points, and she only played 22 minutes in the game. She left midway through the third quarter after picking up her fourth foul and did not see the floor again. After the game, Clark was obviously disappointed with the performance, but she did crack a smile when I asked her about UConn men's basketball head coach Dan Hurley electing to turn down the Los Angeles Lakers head coaching gig to remain with the Huskies. I saw that. Clark said with a smile when I started my question about Hurley's decision. I mean, shoot, two really good options, Clark replied with a laugh. I really admire Hurley. I love his intensity. I think the way he coaches the game is amazing. The way he coaches his players is amazing and holds them accountable. He really gets the most out of them. It's interesting to hear Clark immediately talk about holding his players accountable as one of the traits she admires most about the UConn head coach. Players don't often love that in a coach, at least not at the moment, though many realize later that it was in their best interest. I've really loved watching them over the course of the last couple of years, and I think it's cool he's staying in college basketball, she continued. I think he really loves it, and I think he loves being around those young men and, obviously, he makes them great. I've been a big fan of his and big fan of his program, and they've been fun to watch. Clark isn't alone in that sentiment, certainly. And after winning back-to-back -back national championships, Hurley has decided to run it back and go for a three-peat, rather than test the NBA waters with the Los Angeles Lakers. That's great news for college basketball, something Caitlin Clark knows just a little bit about.